Hello, YouTube. On occasions, I like to talk about celestial visitors to our planet and the traces they leave behind. And I've talked about the vitium bolide before, but I want to add a few interesting details. This celestial uh, visitor, this vitium bolide, is often compared to the Tunguska meteorite. It's considered to be very well studied, despite this, the celestial body that fell in the Irkutsk region of Siberia is still included in the list of the most mysterious ones. And the reason for this is the strange phenomena that accompanied the fall of the bolide and the subsequent events. Here is some chronology of this incident, and I will add more details later. The bolide, which is considered one of the most mysterious in modern history, like the Tunguska meteorite, fell in the river basin, but not Tunguska, but Vitim, for which it got its name. As indicated in the textbook Astronomy by Vladimir Surdin and Sergei Yazev, everything happened on the night of September 25th in the year 2002 at about 2 o'clock near the villages of Mama and Vitimsky, where bad weather was raging at that moment. The air temperature was about zero degrees Celsius and the rain and snow poured from the sky. Despite these unfavorable weather conditions and the time of the day, local residents noticed a bright light in the sky, which it was painful to look at. In the vicinity of Mama, eyewitnesses saw a glowing sphere from which sparks were falling. After two, three minutes, a shock wave reached the villages, as a result of which the walls shook in the houses and dishes rang in the cupboards. However, no traces of the asteroid, whose mass, according to experts, was from 30 to 50 ton. No, I mean, there was no, no traces or no large fragments were found. Nothing. Strange phenomena. When a body falls, however, the disappearance of fragments is, is not the only mystery of the Vitim meteorite. Moreover, the staff of the Irkutsk Scientific Center of the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences and the local institute found a finely dispersed cosmogenic substance in the snow at the site of the fall of the celestial body. Some researchers call it strange that large meteorites, including Vitim and Tunguska, fall in sparsely populated areas. Due to this circumstance, there are no qualified observers of such incidents. A candidate of geographical sciences, Yuri Suprunenko, in his book titled Baikal, also mentions that on the night of September 25th, 2002, electricity was cut off in the village of Mama. Later, experts said that the shutdown occurred due to perturbation of the Earth's magnetic field. At the same time, some observed light spheres appear above pointed objects. Such spheres belong to natural phenomena, which scientists have nicknamed the lights of St. Elmo, the consequences of the Vitim incident. Um, and even after the Vitim meteorite landed, so to say, various anomalous phenomena continue to be recorded in the Vitim River Basin. For example, in addition to fallen trees, rays resembling the light from searchlights were observed in the taiga, that's the boreal forest, for two weeks. Perhaps it was the northern lights, but it only happens here in December. It is not surprising that ufologists who also joined the search for the Vitim bolide had no doubt that UFOs were actually operating in the Irkutsk region. The fact that something was really wrong in the mansion area is also indicated by the fact that the Soviet An-2 aircraft crashed at the same point shortly after the arrival of the asteroid. Moreover, wild animals suddenly disappeared in the vicinity. In particular, this affected the sable, the hunting of which 
was one of the mainstay of economy for a lot of villagers in the area. This circumstance forced some residents to leave the villages forever. In addition, people began to worry about joint pain, high blood pressure, and kidney disease. Let's look at some more uh, details from other sources. Uh, the Vitya meteorite, the Bodaibinsky meteorite, is an amazing phenomenon. A large cosmic body that exploded and fell in the area of the Vitim River, river between the villages of Bodaibo and Mama uh, in the Irkutsk region on the night of September 24 to 25th in the year 2002. The epicenters of this fall were first discovered by the Kosmopoisk expedition. That's the Russian paranormal research group that I've talked a lot about in my lectures, in my books through the years. And this group came to the conclusion that the first recorded case of a comet nucleus falling on Earth occurred on the Vitim. It is possible to clarify the cause of the strange explosions only after further comprehensive studies um, and research of the discovered epicenters. The events that took place in the Irkutsk region allow researchers to rightfully call the explosion over Vitim the second Tangaska phenomenon or the Tangaska meteorite of the 21st century. So that night at 1 hour 50 minutes local time or 16 hours 50 minutes world time, the sky in the northeast of the Irkutsk region was illuminated by the brightest flash and the most powerful explosions in Irkutsk, about 700 kilometers from the place of the event, and Moscow. They found out about the Vitim bolide only after a week has passed. Perhaps they would not have found it out if it had not been for the strange consequences of the explosion. The bright aura Aurora Borealis, to the north of the district center of Bodaibo, caused rumors throughout the district. The taiga glows from radiation. For several days, approximately above the crash site, a colored glow was observed in the direction of the explosion. A group of geologists from Moscow, they discovered a space of about 100 square kilometers, 60 kilometers from the village of Mama, where trees were burned and felled, as well as fragments of a meteorite. Someone should tell this to Avi Loeb in Harvard. He might find traces of aliens there sooner than at the, than at the bottom of the ocean. I tried to contact that scientist some time ago and to tell him also about this case and about the Russian scientist and space ex exploration expert, Valery Burdakov, and his ideas about the... About extraterrestrial spaceships in the guise of comets and a few other things. I got no response. Well, I'm kind of used to this indifference sometimes and that some ubiquitous and dubious so-called experts continuously take this stage and borrow, so to say, my research. But I respect Loeb, whose knowledge and ideas are great. Um, and um, I hope that one day he finds out about the uh, V-team, Bolide, the meteorite, space body, or whatever else it was. And it really should be studied comprehensively and maybe more extensively. And hopefully one day it will be. So that's what I wanted to let you know today. If you like my research, please kindly help it. You can find out how to do to the links to this description of this uh, video and take a look at my channel. You'll find a few more interesting celestial guests who arrived in the territory of the former Russian Empire, Soviet Union, and modern Russia. Thank you.